Hi, this is Evangelist, and I'm vlogging about minifigure bags. I've been trying to buy these less often, but I was at Walmart getting some plastic tubs because I'm trying to clean up a little bit, and I saw these, and I looked at the back of these little pouches. This is the Halo Bravo series, the second run of Mega Bloks Halo minifigures to have the superposable figures mixed in. I haven't really looked up anything about these because I saw the character assortment, and I was like, nothing's making me as excited color-wise and superposable-wise as Alpha Series did, because I'm more interested in the toy side of these than the Halo side of these. But then I looked at the back of these, and these both had A20-something codes. And I remember that the A20-something codes on Alpha meant fancy stuff was inside. These felt meaty. So I haven't looked up what any of these are. I don't even know if the A20-something codes still mean anything. So I'm just going to open these up and see what's inside. Maybe I've got some chase figures and I got lucky. Or maybe I have a whole bunch of grunts again. And I can just feel like today's been a whole big waste of time. We'll find out either way because I'm going to dump this out and see what is in here. Uh, okay, so there's a big stick. And oh, this is what's his name? Guilty Spark. The little British ball librarian. Okay. Oh, he comes with an infected dude. I forgot he came with an infected dude. So, how does this go together? This is this is a fancy one, right? There's two figures in here. One of them's on the stick. Oh, man. This just turned into an impromptu little V-build thing, didn't it? I'm sorry, everybody. Well, this isn't much of a V-build. This is just me muttering to myself a whole lot. All right, here you go. Take your little eyeball. Ah, get on. Get... Okay. And then we stick you on the stick. And then what? Clasp these things around y'all. What goes on top? What goes on bottom? I think this goes on top. Yeah, got a little half a dude. I played this level of Halo a whole lot back when I had a pirated copy of it on my PC uh, many years ago. And, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, this, it looks cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And you got, like, a optional, like, red eye for if he's mad. What if I just got another one of him? That would be a shame. What number was this pouch? Because there were two... Yeah, there were two of this 24. I almost grabbed both, thinking they might both be chase figures. I'm kind of... I wonder if I should have grabbed both. Because I wouldn't mind having one of the red eye as well. And then you gotta... I mean, these, these guys aren't superposable yet, but... I don't have any minifigures what got that flood fungus on their face. And... I don't know. I wouldn't mind having two. Oh, that clip, that's, that's like form-fitted to go right on there. Uh... I think there's still an arm in this bag. There should be. Did I lose an arm? <laughs> this guy only has one arm. Well, I guess I should go get the other one now. <laughs> Did I dump it and then just like dump it straight off the table and not notice? What just happened? Man, he's common too. Oh, he's supposed to have a big flood arm. Okay. Well, where's the big flood arm? Did I not get my big flood arm? Hello? You anywhere around here? Maybe I should have cleared the desk off before I did this. There's nothing in here, right? Like, I'm not missing something. Let's look in here together. Hang on, I said, we'll look in here together. I'm real bad at looking inside bags, I don't know if you knew that. I just want to look in the pouch! Alright, I don't see anything inside there. Not underneath that. Oh man! Well, that's a shame. Wait, that's- no, no, that's a battery that was lying over there. Okay, well... <laughs> I already was thinking, hey, I could go get another little floaty thing and give it a red eye. I guess that now I can also get a dude and actually have both of his arms. Did I? I'm not going crazy here, right? Like, there's, there's nothing back there that I'm missing. Is there? I don't see it. I think I would have heard it if it clattered to the floor. It's all a great stalling tactic to drag out whatever's in here. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just write that off as a loss. Oh, well. Let's open this one, see- Hey, maybe my other flood arm is inside here. Alright, let's check it out. Is that the flood police coming by outside? We detected that you've opened up a Halo minifigure and it's missing one of its uh, arms, and that's illegal, so you're under arrest. Story of my life. Alright, okay, there's clear stuff in here. What the- That's friggin- That's big! Okay, what is this? <laughs> Who's this fella? Yeah, forget you two. I don't know who you are anymore. You... What is this? <laughs> okay. I wish they had two of these. Another crazy big trident man. So this is one of those back-legged arbitrating types. 
It's got a fancy hat. It's got some soft plastic stuff going on. This guy looks like friggin' Emperor something or other. Hang on, we'll build him up. We'll take a look. Once again, I'm rather happy about my ignorance to what is even in this series outside of the uh, the regular assortment. Holy Jiminy Christmas, this dude is a friggin' beast. Hey, you're give you your... <laughs> that thing is huge! He's just friggin' skewers dudes on that. Okay. Well, I don't care anymore that the Flood Man's missing an arm. I got a... a murder guy. Uh, what? Okay, who's this little sucky? Okay, so this is a super posable guy. Looks like some general... generic marine man. Uh, kind of... Yeah, that kind of stoned-looking Caucasian fella. Your average video game dude. Uh, let's stick your pants on. Looks like you got shoulder pads, too. That sure is gonna... <laughs> when I left the trenches today dressed in my green flack, I thought I was worried, but don't worry, I got my trusty shoulder pads on to protect me when the guy with the enormous trident rams his enormous trident through my throat. Some of that was probably out of focus. I apologize. Well, he's super posable, and that helps. But his head, man, he, he looks like a... He looks like a small $4 action figure, doesn't he? Um, oh, this is worth it for this guy. Look at this friggin' beast! Let's bring over our guilty spark here as well. Let's stick his, uh, his spare eye on the stand, I guess. That's kind of cool, actually. There's some uh, storage there for that. And then our... Defective, armless flood man. Oh no, he's infected. He's got a ball socket stub for an arm. For a shoulder, for whatever. Anyway, that's what's inside those things. I don't know if I'm going to hunt down the actual set. Uh, this series here is just very uninspiring. Um, the only thing in here I'm really interested in at all is maybe the policeman, but I have a couple of them from vehicles, and there's a two-pack of more policemen. I just don't really see a reason. Um, the Spartan guy, he's just in green armor. That's like the most boring color for a Spartan to be dressed up in. I got the army man. Um, and these dudes are not super posable yet. I don't think. Neither is that guy. And that makes me very uninterested in them. So, I'll have a dig around see if that <laughs> flood arm is like somehow on the floor somewhere silently like a ninja. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for checking out our little update here. And I'm going to try to get at least another video or two out this week. I've been, I don't know if you noticed, and I'm going to make a vlog about it to specifically detail what I've been trying to do with the channel this year. I've been trying to maintain getting uh, one to three videos out a week to try to have more regular content on here. And by videos, I mean not just reviews, just videos, be they reviews, v-builds, or ridiculous nonsense like this. Uh, just so there's always something chilling out there, whether or not you're interested. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's your prerogative. Is it in here? Is it in here? No? Okay. Uh, but I'll talk more about that another time. In the meantime, friggin' Trident Man! What a cool guy! What a cool guy.